Welcome back to Pathologic 2. But instead of playing the main game and continuing that, we're going to be playing The Marble Nest. It's its own completely self-contained small story. I've purposely avoided reading much about it, but I think it takes place inside of the polyhedron playing as The Bachelor. Let's go. You are Daniel Dankowski, a Bachelor of Medicine and Fighter of Death. You have one last chance to figure out the truth. Birdies. Birdies. Gavin. Run, run, run. <laughs> Just staring at me ominously from outside. Okay, um... What do we have on us? How are we doing? It's day 10, so we're close to the end. I'll listen to that. I forgot how good the rain pounding on the windows sounded. Anyway, yeah, day 10. Last day to figure out the truth. Health is low, infection high, exhaustion high, hunger kinda high, thirst really high. Yeah, we're just doing really terrible, aren't we? We have a heart. Morphine, a used bandage, immunity boosters. It's been a while since I've played. I haven't played since I finished the main game many months ago, so I'm gonna be pretty rusty. We have an executor cloak on? Protects against infection during contact. The pendants serve no obvious purpose, but tearing them off would be a waste of time. Orderlies, the volunteer medical assistants, use these costumes borrowed from the local theater as protective cloaks. This is the traditional costume of the Reaper, an allegory of death. I guess we're just wearing whatever we can to protect against the infection. Durability is max, so it's doing pretty well. Let's take the milk. That should solve some of our thirst and hunger. That's much better. And uh, I forget, what is immunity boost? What do immunity boosters do when you're infected? Increase that green bar. But we're already like really, really infected. Is there any point to me taking a bunch of these to max out that little sliver of green? I'm not quite sure what that sliver of green does in this context when we're already so infected. I guess I'll take another one. Leave the last one. So can't go to town, thoughts, people, or anything like that. Do I have access to the map? No. Alright. <laughs> we're just in this one room with a coffin. I can't help but feel that it's meant for us. Hey, Espidy. Shapeless ghouls walk in stolen guises. You are a brave man, Doctor. I'm glad to see you finally mustered up the courage to do it. Meaning it's probably time to say goodbye, right? Finally mustered up the courage to do what? To enter the Marble Nest? I'm just assuming the Marble Nest is another name for the Polyhedron. Because I believe we're going inside of there. I could be wrong. How am I brave? Well, you're going to die now. Death is awaiting you downstairs, by the exit. I wonder if you'll manage to give it the proper answer this time. I don't know. What is proper when dealing with death? Punching its sorry, bony face seems like the best option. You understand the nature of death wrong. You're even using the very word wrong. You people are bad at dying. <laughs> you people are bad at dying. Hmm. Should I? I feel like I should maybe roleplay as the bachelor. And what is the bachelor? A pompous prick. I understand the nature of death wrong. I'll have you know that I'm a thanatologist, and one of the best in the world at that. 
Very few people in this Valley of Tears know more about death than I do. You are a great doctor, there's no denying that. A skilled fighter of death. The plague almost devoured this town, but you managed to protect the stone yard from the infection, creating an impenetrable citadel here. But take a peek outside, and you'll see that people are still dying. Why do you reckon that is? My plans were disrupted by a freak accident. If only I could relive this bloody day. You made a mistake. Fought the wrong enemy. What do I have to do to get through to you? You want to exterminate death, yet you drag it behind like a tethered bull. That's just not the right way. Yes, I want to exterminate death. And I'll do just that, rest assured. Farewell, Doctor. You were a good man, but your eyes were stitched shut. Go down now. Death is getting restless. Evil Saturday, foul Saturday. It's not over yet. I can turn it good still. God, the way they stare at me. It's really imposing. I don't think there's a point in trying to loot anything. Hey. And yet, I still try. Key. It's cold. Oh, I don't like that. It reflects light at odd angles, making its true size difficult to discern. Did I need that key for something? Orderly number 12. Done. I took them all away. Can't do no more. Took whom away? Everyone. What about you? How are you feeling? I'm dead tired, Doctor. Haven't had a decent sleep for two days now. Any more assignments? We're goners anyway. No chance to break out of here. We did all we could, but this seems to be it. Orderly number 12, going off duty. Take a break, number 12. You're released from duty. Just one more thing, Doc. Reckon there's still hope? There were 13 districts in your town. Miraculously, I managed to save two. Dozens of refugees are sheltered here. There will be survivors. So this is the bachelor's way. Seems like... Quarantining? A couple districts? Oh, God. Dora Fugel. Everything's done. I got a bit sleepy, though. Sorry about that. Shall we proceed with the treatment, Doctor? 
What treatment? Who are we going to treat? Where is everyone? Don't give me that look, doctor. And don't blame yourself. I think I know why we ended up like this. Your attention must have slipped today. You didn't put all the pieces together. You failed to assemble the puzzle. You need to have some rest. If you're not squeamish, you can take any bed. You told us yourself, don't you remember? Everything that transpired did so for a very good reason. The puzzle was almost solved, but some pieces must have slipped. Me, I don't even know what events you're referring to. It was your day after all, not mine. Evil Saturday. Foul Saturday. Shame I can't live through it all again. I'd managed to uncover the pattern connecting all the facts. But oh well. So it's true. You're given up. Resigned to die. Thrown in the towel. The great bachelor Denkovsky. A celebrity thanatologist. The scientist who's claimed to have defeated death itself. Utterly failed, haven't you? I did my best. You did nothing. The whole town hung on your every word. You were treated like a prophet. A leader. The leader. The Judge, Fat Vlad, Sabarov, they all trusted you. All the while, you were feeding the town to the plague, district by district. Our town has become nothing more than an arena for your duel with death. Isn't that right? This isn't a common epidemic, mate. Isn't Yersinia pestis? Neither is it the Black Death. This is something completely new. You want me to overcome it in a week? How about decades? I trusted you. We all did. For as long as you lived, so did we. I know it firsthand. And now you've decided you've had enough and marched into the grave meekly, like a lamb to the slaughter. It must feel nice to find an easy way out. The easy way is shifting all the responsibility from your dumb heads to my shoulders. It all just slipped through your fingers. The disease infiltrated the stone yard today, but you didn't notice. Your type would never go through a back alley. Your routes are always the same, from the main street to the main square and back. Perhaps you weren't really looking. Perhaps you're in league with it. The epidemic began the day you arrived in the town. I wonder if that's a coincidence. Get a grip. You're a quitter and a disgrace. That one will. Took me a second to remember how to fight. <laughs> Still wondering what that cold key is for. Oh, hey. Is there any point in looting them? I don't know. It's strange, it's like time is passing as I go up and down into different rooms. This is it, Doctor. You fought valiantly, but you've lost. A foe like me is no match for men, and you are no exception. So, are you ready to die? 
No, that is not what I intend to do. So you didn't understand anything. Stubborn man. You've done more than is humanly possible. You've cordoned off the safe part of the town, but it was all in vain. I'm here already. I don't believe you. This is all a dream. A nightmare. A prophetic dream, Bachelor. Such is the nature of the plague. The town seems clean and calm in the morning, but somewhere in the depths of a nondescript house a carrier is already lurking. Come noon, fleas appear in hordes, transmitting the sickness. So do rats. By the evening, the whole town is in agony. You've seen this many times already. So, are you ready to die? No. Don't even try. Soon I'll wake up and you'll be gone. No. You may not see me at once, but that doesn't mean I won't be there. I'm telling you, I'm already in this part of the town. Please understand that resistance is pointless. You need to come to terms with my existence and accept me, like you accept the law of gravity. I am Earth. We are of the same nature. Are you ready to die, Bachelor? No, fighting death is my job. You've been studying death all your life, yet the understanding of its nature still eludes you. Like a child, you're squeezing your eyes shut to hide from the monster. No, I'm not. If you're truly already here, then hide all you want. Here I come. As you wish. In that case, go and see for yourself. Be gone, plague. Out of my way. Still wondering about that. About that key that I don't even have anymore. Oh, okay. Put my trust in paw, claw, and whisker. Not you, Drifter. Doctor, wake up. A bad thing happened. What thing? Blackie's old man is ill. But it's not plague. I mean, not the sand thing. Will you cure him? And not send beakheads after him? Ill, but not the sand plague? We'll see about that. Where is he? Right there in the neck yard. The first house, over there. You can see it from the doorway. I'd walk you there, but I can't. We shouldn't be seen together. Why would that be? Because. You'll bring the bee kids to the, to the blackers, and they'll say it was me who ratted them out. No one will talk to me after that. I see. Yes, the orderly's reputation is rather bleak. Also, the judge was here, demanded you be woken up. I stopped him. Didn't like how the old geezer looked at all. Nuts is how he looked, hands shaking and all. What do you mean, stopped him? What if it was important? Are you out of your mind, lad? Do you appreciate what's at stake here? He looked completely nuts, I'm telling you. And you look dead tired. The judge was here an hour ago or so anyway. Must be at his place now. It's next door. <sighs> Alright. An hour's not much. I'll look into it. Is this basically just a full day in the life of the bachelor? Do we have access to... The whole town? Uh... Let's see how we're doing. I kept the pocket watch? That's weird. Our health is okay, immunity's mediocre, exhaustion's zero. 
Hunger is moderate. Stamina is max. We're doing really good, actually, overall. We have fuck all for equipment, though. No weapons or clothes or anything. Just a pocket watch. Um... We have in thoughts. The sand plague has infiltrated the town. The source or the carrier must be around. Where? The judge paid me a visit this night while I was still asleep. There is a sick person in neck number one. Neck number one? The hell is that? What about people? Does this? Oh, we can at least see who who's dead and who's infected. <laughs> The old me's dead. Burrah. Uh, wow, yeah. A lot of people are dead. Notkin, Grace, Laura, Casper, Ava, Bad Grief. Anna Angel is alive, of course. Yulia is alive. But infected. Changeling's doing fine. Ruben's fine. Vlad's are infected. Hmm, Alexander Block is dead, but Aglaia is alive. Interesting. Homer Dehoy. Half a man, half a boy. What were you dreaming about, anyway? You were screaming as though devils were dragging you to hell by hooks. I dreamed that the plague has infiltrated this place. The stone yard. It talked to me and said, here I am. The birds are gathering around the marble nest. Whatever that means. I see. Were there bulls in your dream? Uh, just one. Rather spine chilling though. Why do you ask? Too bad. If you dream of a bull, that means the dream is prophetic. So it'll come true. Everybody knows this omen. You need to see Saba. Well, that probably means a lot of important things are going to happen today. And with your kind help, my today started early. Mm, too early, perhaps. Uh-huh. Oh, and one more thing. Don't give nuts to Shrew. Why? I thought rodents liked nuts. Because. Just don't. I'll consider it. Boy named Sticky implores me to not give nuts to a girl named Shrew, not under any circumstances. That is so odd, I really want to know why. Okay. Time is of the essence, always. I do need stuff though, so let's loot. Looting this whole house, I think, would be wise. Take a lot of time, but I need stuff. And there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Food and beetles. What more could you want? Closet clothes? No. Oh, right. That's how you save your game. Why did somebody board this up? That's creepy. Why would you board up a closet? The hell? Something's really wrong with that closet. <laughs> I'm getting bad vibes from it. Oh, executor's waiting outside. Oh, look at that sun coming in through the window. That's so cool. 
Anyway, can't dawdle too much. Must loot. That sunlight looks freaking beautiful. from the infection. You're a doctor. You should know. think that is it. Let's go. What time is it? 9.34. I don't remember what time it was when we first woke up. Look at this picture in the background. What are we holding in our hand? I hope that's a lantern, but it also kind of looks like a head. Um, let's put on the mask. We have a bit of hunger. So I guess I'll eat the toast. Yeah, let's look through what we have. Immunity boosters, water, we got healing. This for sleeping. These for like selling and trading. Yeah. The sorting your stuff into different categories comes so naturally to me. Everything's coming back. <laughs> I did play this game for, I don't know, like 50 hours. Grigory Gorky, number six. Here to report to you, doctor. Well? Generally, the coast is clear, sir. No signs of the plague. I'd say you've won. Congratulations are in order. As for us, we're leaving this part of the town. Our place is across the river. Still work to be done there. The state of the coast is mine to evaluate and my information differs from yours. How many of you are here in the stone yard? 36? I need every commanding orderly to report to me, stat. You have half an hour. But most orderlies are gone for good. Some of them gone home even. Come now, doctor. Your work is done. Take a look at yourself. I've seen happier corpses. You're overworked and deserve a rest. A good, long, peaceful rest. So the orderlies have deserted, and yet you have the gall to claim that everything is all right. There's simply nothing left to do. The coast is clear. There are several orderlies who have not abandoned their duties. They're probably still out there, guarding suspicious spots. They insist on staying unless you withdraw the orders personally, doctor. Bootlickers, if you ask me. Subservient show-offs. Let them stay there. Report to me when I find them. Then I'll check the suspicious spots myself. The rest of you deserve to be court-martialed. And keep that in mind, number six. Why so tense, Doctor? If I may ask. Some whippersnapper just rushed past me. Was it he that disturbed you? No, it was... another thing. No matter. Now off you go. And start with a search. If you see anything suspicious, report to me immediately. Every hour counts now. Most orderlies have abandoned the stone yard. Few remain on duty. So this... Um... What is the stone yard again? I mean, obviously we're at the stone yard, but it's not... The atrium, is it? Like this part that gets highlighted? I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I guess it doesn't really particularly matter. There's a sick person in neck number one. I guess let's go over there. Oh right, I need to be looting every freaking trash can I find. Is there water? Is this good water? Yes it is. The 
that sound. I swear I heard an odd sound. Alright, you're sick with something, but it's not the sand plague. I'm curious and scared. I will tend to the sick last. Most importantly, I must loot. Spindle. Can't even tell you how much that creeps me out after playing as Burah. Blackie. It's not the sand pest. Don't tell him, be kids. He'll get better, I know it. Is that your father? Uh, stepfather. Same thing. He brought me up. Provided for me. When did he get sick? An hour ago or so. Dropped down and started beaten and flopping like a fish, mouth open and all. I brought him water, but he couldn't tell it was me. Flopping like a fish sounds perhaps like a seizure? Which certainly I've never heard as a, a symptom of the sand pest. Merely an hour? This is good news. The man is dead? Oh. Okay. Um. Doesn't seem like the sand pest, but there's no harm in double checking. Better safe than sorry. The symptoms do not fit the horrible disease that's exterminated two thirds of the town's population in a week. Judging by the preliminary analysis, the man died of a massive stroke. Hmm. I still think we should perform an autopsy. I'll call the orderlies. They'll take the body where it belongs. Not the plague. The man died of a stroke. Ah! Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Relieved? An ordinary stroke? Yes, not everyone dies of the sand pest. Oh no, it all begins someplace else. You've got the wrong address. Well, perhaps you could tell me the correct one. Oh, you thought you could catch me on the first try? That's quite an ego, Doctor. Ambition seems to be your middle name. You challenge death, and you expect your fight to be this simple? You must be kidding. I'm almost offended. I've been fighting death for many years, and I usually succeed. Neither pox nor cholera nor sand pest kill people. All they do is reduce their lifetime. Yet the time of the world is yours to control. Who was the murderer? A sickness that let no second go to waste? Or you, who bothered not to hurry? I think it's the latter. It's alright. It's all right, there's still a chance to fix everything. You're arrogant and condescending, Doctor. You despise people. Their life, health, and time mean nothing to you. Want an example? You turn the cathedral into an isolation ward, and now it's chock full of exhausted and terrified people. They've spent a torturous night there, waiting for you to examine them, yet you are in no hurry to relieve their suffering. God damn it, slipped my mind completely. The local cathedral served as a refuge for those who showed suspicious signs. Orderly number 11? Who were you talking to just now, Doc? Oh, God. Is this your idea of a joke? No, sir. I was ordered to come, sir. A person has died here, sir. We take our orders seriously around here, sir. Forget it. Doesn't matter. Just do your job. Are you feeling okay, doctor, sir? You're kind of pale. Dark rings under the eyes present, too. 
You must be overworked and exhausted. Your schedule is insane. You need to have a good long sleep, sir. Very long. There's no time to rest. I'm planning to examine this whole house. Do you have a master key? I do, sir. Here it is, sir. Please kindly note how fragile it is, sir. Only good to unlock a couple of doors. Three, maybe. Then it breaks. That's an odd key. <laughs> but I have nothing. Hand it over. It's <laughs> a master key? It's just a lockpick. Locals don't bother with security much until recently most doors stood wide open. I love that it's literally just a lockpick. I just don't have anything to... No, I don't have any uh, needles. So maybe this marble nest doesn't actually take place in the polyhedron. I'm not sure. For some reason, I associated it with that. But like I said, I deliberately avoided learning much about it to keep it all fresh. Also, looking in the wrong place for the plague, for where it comes, for where it gets into this place that's cordoned off and protected. I've got a feeling that, could the source just be me? Could it be the bachelor? I mean, we are talking with the plague, right? Did I already loot here? No. Clothes, please. Dang it. That's not using up the master key, right? Because... Oh no, it did. It is using up the master key. Interesting. So I guess we don't have to do the lock picking mini game. It just kind of like works automatically and automatically takes the durability. I see. Ooh, really good stuff. Food. Dang, I need needles. And that's it for that. Oh, there's a needle. Where shall I use it? I don't know. Something relatively big. Something that's not just like two squares. Four squares? Sure, it's using on a four square. <laughs> Great. Nice. Do we need anything? No, we're doing great on stats. Uh, I mean, I guess I could take an immunity booster, get that immunity even higher. Yeah, we're good. We don't have much inventory space, do we? Where to now? I wonder if we as the Bachelor have any ability to treat people. Because we don't have tinctures. That's not a thing with us. That was only with Burrah. So what can we do? Let's head over to the judge. Actually, the judge can wait. Let's head over to the cathedral. Because there's a lot of people in there waiting for me. <laughs> 